Hello everyone and welcome to my Plexus 2D tutorial. And today's Plexus 2D tutorial is the second part of the stability of dam under rapid drawdown. So we'll be focusing on the flow conditions and stage construction and of course the results. So now let's get started. So now we are at section 9.6. We ended the last video at section 9.5. So some things to note over here, we will have four phases here in addition to the initial phase and we have two long-term phases the first one would be a long-term situation in which the water level is at 25 meters and the other long-term phase would be a scenario where the reservoir water level is at 5 meters and we have two phases here that will have drops one with a quick drop from 25 to 5 and one with a slow drop from 25 to 5 so we can find out more about each of the individual phases as we go along but this part here is a short introduction so for the initial phase we'll be using gravity loading for the initial stresses and initial pore water pressures and the water pressure distribution is calculated using steady state groundwater flow so that is the main thing to remember and these phases over here would start off from the initial phase if you read over here and for the other phases we'll be using a fully coupled flow deformation analysis and of course the last point to note is that we will be using a 5c reduction method to calculate the safety factor of the dam so let's move on to 9.6.1 here so this is the initial phase so let's quickly double click on the initial phase here so first of all, we need to change the loading type to gravity loading. So change it from K0 to gravity loading over here. And we need to use a steady state groundwater flow option. So change it from phreatic to steady state, like so. And uncheck ignore suction in the deformation control parameters. So we need to uncheck this over here. Like so. And let's scroll down again. You can just click on OK. And that's it for the initial phases. So let's quickly look at the notes again. So now we need to define the water level. So we have quite a few points here, four points. So we have the very left starting at 25 meters above the ground surface at minus 132, 25. So let's find the create water level tool and then key in minus 132 comma 25 or you can just place it exactly at the required spot over here minus 132 comma 25 and the next point would be at minus 10 comma 25 so just try to keep it level minus 10 comma 25 right there so the next point would be the third point and that is 93 comma negative 10 so 93 should be somewhere about here and it's going to be negative 10 like so and the last point would be 132 comma negative 10 so 132 would be about here, comma negative 10. And hit enter and escape. So now that we've already drawn out the water profile for the initial phase, if we scroll down, we can see that we have to right click on the created water level here and make this global. So select it and make global. So now that we've already made it global, we need to proceed to the Model Explorer and expand the Attributes Library. So the Model Explorer is here. Expand the Attributes Library over here. And let's see what we need to focus on. So we have to expand the Water Level subtree and the levels created in the flow conditions are grouped under User Water Levels. So Let's expand the water levels here 
and expand user water levels like so so this is the screenshot over here so this is how you're supposed to expand the attributes library so again expand the user water level subtree the created water level can be seen named as user water level 1 and now we need to double click on that and rename it as full reservoir underscore steady so let's rename this full reservoir underscore steady like so and expand the model condition subtree so the model condition subtree would be over here and now we need to expand the groundwater flow subtree the groundwater flow would be right about here and we must take note that the boundary at the bottom of the model is set to close so this has to be closed over here and everything else is open so that's the main point to remember over here and that's it for the initial phase so pat yourself on the back it's been quite a few steps 16 steps to be exact and it's gonna get longer so stay tuned all right let's focus on phase one so it's the rapid drawdown phase so we need to click on the add phase button to create a new phase so click on the add phase button over here and we can name this as rapid drawdown in the general subtree so we can just name this as rapid drawdown actually we can also rename the initial phase accordingly so initial phase gravity loading gravity loading initial phase and rapid drawdown phase 1 rapid drawdown there we go so we'll be using a fully coupled flow deformation calculation type so fully coupled flow deformation and assign a value of 5 days to the time interval so this is very important we must remember the time interval for the phase that we are dealing with so that we can create the time dependent function for our flow and let's go to the deformation control parameters here so we should make sure that reset displacements to zero and reset small strain options are selected so reset displacements to zero and reset small strain are selected and we can just click on ok right now like so and due to the global nature of the water levels if an attribute is assigned to a water level in the model it will affect it in all phases the water level in this phase has the same geometry with the one previously defined however it is time dependent and a function needs to be assigned to it so this time dependent function would really rely heavily on the interval over here so it, it is required to create a new water level with the same geometry and different attributes so in the model explorer right click on full reservoir steady duplicate it so let's duplicate full reservoir steady so this is the duplicate here user water level 1 and let's rename it as full reservoir rapid like so so now let's define our flow function so we need to go to the flow functions drop down in the attributes library so in the attributes library there's a flow functions uh, section over here 
right click on it and edit this and we have no head functions over here so that's to be expected since we haven't defined anything so click on plus so let's rename this as rapid and the function correction and the signal would be linear over here change it to linear the time would be five days this corresponds to the time set earlier so key in five days over here and the head would be minus 20 meters over here and that's it really just click on okay if you want to open it up again click on edit and let's look at the graph so this is correct we have the exact same settings as the tutorial so the name is rapid signal is linear time is five days and the head is minus 20 meters so we've already set it up correctly so we don't have to worry anymore click on ok and so in the model explorer right click on full reservoir rapid full reservoir rapid and make as global or use as global sorry so use as global water level and now expand the full reservoir rapid subtree so there are three segments and we'll only select the upstream segment so on the left side here which is the section behind this dam so let's expand it so this will be section 4 and we need to choose the time dependent option over here so you can find the time dependency settings here not in the first and second drop downs over here so choose time dependent and choose the head function as rapid like so so you'll have something like this screenshot over here and that's uh, pretty much it for the first phase now in phase 2 we need to create a new phase based on the high reservoir phase which is the gravity loading phase that we've named prior to that so select on it and click on add over here so this is phase 2 so we will rename this as slow drawdown calculation type will be fully coupled flow deformation so change it to fully coupled over here and the value will be 50 days so it will be 10 times slower than the rapid drawdown and we need to make sure that reset displacements to zero and reset small strain options are selected and check on the ignore suction option and make sure it's unchecked so make sure that reset small strain and reset displacements to zero are checked so it's all good over here and click on ok again make a duplicate of the high water level so we have to make another duplicate duplicate of the steady one over here and we need to make this as the global water level over here so use as global water level and we need to rename it as full reservoir underscore slow so full reservoir underscore slow and now we need to create the flow function for the slow phase over here so right click on flow functions click on edit click on new call this slow and just follow the screenshot here so you don't have to read too much because it's just 
same set of instructions as before except that the time is different 